Well, hello everybody. This is Douglas Allen Frazier with Cast to the Other Side. It's been a few days uh, since I've made a video. Um, I've had a problem with my neck and shoulder. It's been pretty painful. And uh, actually it's difficult for me to use my computer. Uh, so doing a download from my GoPro uh, is a little bit more difficult for me. So I'm, I'm going back to uh, my cell phone. It does a great job. This is actually my new cell phone. I just uh, changed over from AT&T to T-Mobile. So I guess that's kind of a commercial uh, interlude there. But uh, anyway, I wanted to share with you We've been talking about the last few videos about dreams and goals and things that, that we are looking for to complete in our life, to see where God would have us to go, whether we're in ministry or business or whatever, whatever endeavor uh, God has placed us into, whatever endeavor we have asked God to bless us with and we have followed his commands and directions according to his word in fact i just got done watching an interview um, with general frank mckenzie the former commander of centcom uh, he was doing an inter interview in israel talking about the situations there with israel and dealing with iran etc and they asked him, well, sir, how did you determine that you were going to become a Marine? He said, well, you know, it was just something that came up. I put my uh, mind to it. I said, I didn't, they asked him, well, you didn't go to a service academy and uh, you could choose from that of being a Marine if you so chose. He said, no, I went to the Citadel in South Carolina because I wanted to get a degree and I forget exactly what it was but he said that decision paid off handsomely for the rest of my military career which spanned over 30 years I think he said 38 39 years so the thing is if you've got a goal you've got a dream how about now it's time to get started and you know, a part of getting started with our goals and dreams is we've got to sow into that dream. Now, what does that mean? It's one of the basic principles. You can read that in Galatians 6, 7, that teaches that what we sow, we're going to reap. So if we will do the things of sowing in, in other words, using the example of General McKenzie, he sowed into his future an educational process. And I'll put it this way, when you reach his level of leadership within the military, you have gone through a lot of additional education. They didn't talk about the fact that he probably had a master's degree in certain places. He would probably gone to service academies, etc. So you've got to sow in to your future and what God would have you to do. Now, one of the things that I've found is very important is making a plan. What are you going to do? How are you going to accomplish it? Well, the first thing you've got to decide is you're going to have to decide you're going to start serving. Now, what does that mean? You're going to have to start serving the plan that you have established. It's time to get in and to quit sitting on the fence. You're going to have to start moving forward and decide what needs to be done and then prayerfully determine how your talents, your insights, your gifts, your money can best touch the area that you want to reach. If it's reaching and expanding out and reaching people for God, 
then go and serve in an area where you can sow your time, whether it's in a local church, a ministry someplace, but sow your time into that. So decide where you're going to serve. Seek some guidance from somebody that maybe has been through the process before that you want to do, that you want to move into. It used to be that an apprentice system was a way of determining how you would move forward. I know when I was in Japan, when I lived in Japan, my wife and I went and found a jewelry shop and it was very interesting because they had the jewelry, it was all custom made, but behind the piece of jewelry was a very beautiful, I'll just put it that way, beautiful piece of art, which was the drawing of the piece of jewelry. So we got kind of intrigued and went in there and we found out that was a part of the learning process. You had to be able to draw what you saw, what your dream was of creating a piece of jewelry. And they had an apprentice program that lasted about 10 years before you would be considered to be a master jeweler. So it's time that you look at where are you going to dedicate your time, your effort, your resources, and that can include, of course, your money. Decide how you are going to serve and ask God to show you where the best area for you to take an assigned task and remember that there is a reward waiting for you. A reward that you might not see immediately, but it might be that at the fullness of your career, just like General McKenzie talked about, he went to the Citadel, he took this one course or course of study where he got his degree and it said it paid off for the rest of his career okay you've got to also decide the level of commitment that you're willing to make and I, i'm not talking about over committing but i'm saying how much time are you willing to put in how much effort evaluate the level of effort that it takes and before you make any financial commitment make sure it's a commitment you can really keep it doesn't matter what that commitment is but are you willing to keep it my next door neighbor is dealing with Parkinson's disease really debilitating we pray for him every day but he was just telling me that he has a new doctor up in Dallas and she is putting him on a very strict regimen. And she asked him, are you willing to do this? That was her question. And he said, well, I think so. I think I can do it. And she turned right around and said, no, you must do this. In other words, his commitment to his health and his future is 100%. Are you willing to commit 100% to complete what you believe God has shown you that you need to do? Finally, you need to decide to make a habit of sowing in. Sowing in so you can reap. So whatever it is that you're going to do, whatever you sow, you shall reap. That's one of God's laws that you can't get away from. You need to decide what you're going to sow. And you need to decide where you're going to start sowing your seed. Whether it's in your ministry, whether it's in your goal to build a business, 
you've got to determine exactly how strongly you are going to do the things that it takes so you can produce an excellent fruit, an excellent end, an excellent business, an excellent means of getting through your education. Now, I'm going to close with this. If you apply these recommendations to your life, it won't be long until you begin to see that your dream that you have launched out, you are now moving from perhaps the dream range into the real realm. And the principles of God's word always work in every situation, in every country, in every occupation. It doesn't matter. The principles that God has laid out are perfect and they will work for you. God, as I've said before, God is not a respecter of persons. Whatever he has apply wherever other people have applied the word of God diligently they don't back down they stick to it they don't waste their time it works God will work for you if you will put your faith and your trust in him now let your dreams take you and move you by the Holy Spirit showing you who you can be and what you can do. Jesus said this, all things are possible to him that believeth. You can read that for yourself in Mark 23. And I believe Jesus would not fault me in saying this. Of put your name in there. I'm going to put my name in here just as an example. All things are possible to Doug because he believes. All things are possible for Doug because he has faith faith in the word of God so release your faith and follow through and see that your dreams and goals will come to pass I hope you will take this I hope you will move with it I hope you'll listen to this again and by all means Jesus is still standing on the shore. He's waiting for you to cast to the other side so you can pull in the blessings that he has set for you. We'll see you again as soon as possible. I'm hoping tomorrow I'll appreciate if you'll pray for my shoulder and I know that God is healing it right now. It's just going to take the time and the process that I have to go through. But I will appreciate your prayers too. Because there is power when we pray in agreement. Agreement that God is faithful and God is our healer. Thank you for it all. In Jesus' name, amen.